Hey everyone, George from ZenHub here with another two and a half minute tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover measuring progress. How do we do this in ZenHub? Well, just like this. At ZenHub, we work in sprints, short two week periods of time, and those are represented here in GitHub using milestones. The first measure of progress for us is to be able to see these cards moving from the sprint backlog to our work in progress pipeline uh, and to closed. We're looking for cards to move across the board. The next thing that we look at on a day to day basis is our burndown chart. At the end of our standup, we look at our burndown chart and tell whether or not we are on pace, ahead, or behind. Burndown charts work like this. This dashed line is a pace line. It plateaus on the weekends. If the shaded purple area is to the left and below of the pace line, then you are ahead. If it crosses over the pace line, then you are a little bit behind. Uh, and if it's right on the pace line, then you're doing a great job. When we plan on a sprint to sprint basis, we then turn to our velocity report. So velocity is the average number of points that we complete within a sprint. Points are what our estimates are expressed in. We've got a webinar called All Estimates Are Wrong that you should check out if you want to learn how we estimate our work. When we plan our sprints, we make sure that the number of points that we add into our sprint equals our velocity. How do we look at progress in longer periods of time? Well, now that ZenHub has added roadmaps, we turn to the roadmap. So for us, this allows us to track a large number of projects over long periods of time and be able to see at a glance the progress of the work relative to today's date. Simple, right? Yeah, it is. See you next time. <laughs>